Okay, we're here in Whistler, British Columbia, Canada. And it's a little bit of snow up here. End of November 2020. We're just parked here in the lot. And Gigi's got her mask on. Not just for COVID, but it also helps with uh, breathing in the cold air. It's uh, actually easier to, to breathe out here when the weather's cold. So I think we have to pay for parking here. So we're at lot number two. And this is the walkway over to the village, which we'll head over to in a few minutes. So lot number two here. To the left is the village center, village scroll, Whistler Mountain, Blackcomb Mountain Bike Park, which is fun during the summertime. Gondola is amazing. And the Olympic Plaza, this is where the Olympics were held in 2010. Okay, let's see what we need, how much hourly, how many, two hours. Two fifty per hour, so two fifty, and then add. Yeah, okay. How do you extend the time? Okay, maximum parking, RV, no camping. So how do we increase the time here? Okay, we'll probably just have to insert the In card. Insert the card, probably. Insert and the card. There. We'll add 250. Paid until 1 o'clock. There we go. That's easy. That's yeah. how you do it. You have to insert the card first. And a receipt, yes. So if you're wondering, you have to insert the card first, then you can add money or time there we go and we'll put this up on our sprinter we don't ha need to because it's based on the um, license plate so we'll go back I've got my phone on the dashboard anyway up here and then we know we're paid and that's it there we go we got gloves See the snowboarders, boarders are over there. <laughs> okay. We'll go up the stairs here. There's many hotels here. You can rent condos, Airbnbs out here.
Lots of lodges here. Whistler Peak Lodge. golf cart takes you around here the Whistler information for Whistler Village, the Upper Village, Village North, Village Center here. All the different trails here. Brandywine Falls, Whistler Interpretive Forest, Alpha Lake, Alta Lake, Village North. This is where we are here with the arrow. Black Home Mountain. Some nice little trails this way as well. The village center here. These are even harder for bears to get into. <laughs> Hi everyone, finally in Whistler, after being in Squamish for a couple days, we, are, we haven't been here for a few months and come out here, see how much snow we have. <clears throat> you can see the gondolas there operating up to the mountain. See the ski hills up there? We're about 600 meters, 700 meters up here. The top of the mountain is about 2,000 meters. Same as uh, the height of Mexico City. Snow making machines there, the little barrel that you see in the far left screen, part of your screen.
been here many, many times. The Excalibur lift. So this is the Whistler Village. Pan Pacific Whistler Mountainside here. If you get a chance to stay here, it's a beautiful view. They have a pool outside and inside. Fireplaces in every room. So this one takes you to Blackcomb Mountain, this gondola. Lots of pubs, sports stores. You can do bicycle rental here too and go on the trails. Lots of good places to come to if you like beer. I know, not much. There's not much snow so far in the year. Still late fall right now. Yeah. And these are pretty much local tourists here. Tourists in our own city. Because of COVID, there's not much international travel. Over there on the patio by Garibaldi Lift Top. Nice to sit outside in the patio in the summer, watch the bikes roll down the, uh, the mountain here. They have lessons here. You can do snowboarding, skiing, cross-country skiing. Yeah, slush on the ground here. Everybody's doing their social distancing. So this gondola is the um, the one that takes you between Whistler and Blackcomb Mountain. And one of the cabins has a see-through floor. That's really neat. Gigi's scared and going that one, but that's okay. I think we've done it, right? Once? We've done it once, yeah. but I don't look down. Yeah. Gigi didn't look down. Yeah, the mask helps uh, keep the cold air out from, from your lungs here. So we've had fewer colds since COVID started actually, which is good. So little shops here. But you see, this is the prime time normally for skiing and visitors. And it's just empty. It's a Sunday about noon, yeah, 11 o'clock actually.
it's a good place to come to as well the old spaghetti factory you get as much bread as you can eat with different types of flavors of butter and you're pretty much full before you even begin your huge spaghetti dinner But yeah, minus two here. Minus two? Yeah. Not too cold. Having gloves on helps. So all these are apartments and hotels here. Most if not all have fireplaces in the suites. Have a Starbucks coffee. It's nice to relax in. It's the village center here. information center here if you want some uh, help finding things <laughs> lots of pubs and eateries here Where the IGA is over here, right? You can get your groceries. Yeah, not busy at all. Prior to COVID, we were here in last summer and it was packed. But you get a lot of tourists from China, from Australia, especially, United States. It's one of the world class ski destinations That's black out Black home in the distance. St. Andrew's house. Mongoli Grill. Oh, the Starbucks is now closed there. It used to be a Starbucks right behind this totem pole here. That was uh, Starbucks number two in the in the village here. Now they're gone. So a lot of uh, a lot of businesses, unfortunately, have closed. Not just in Whistler, in Vancouver, and many uh, little small towns that we've gone through in this past year. See, this one's also closed here. Uh, don't <laughs> don't do your selfies with the bears. <laughs> yeah, bears are a serious uh, thing to contend with out here. They can kill you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We climbed up on the the lady in Mexico. There's Pandora. They make some nice jewelry. Look at this, it's just a ghost town here. This is normally teeming with people with snowboards, skis. This is the village stroll it's called. See, we wear masks.
There we go. Proof that we're wearing masks. <laughs> yeah, it's a serious uh, situation out here. Getting worse in British Columbia now. Eight more stores are closed here, look. They're normally packed. Help local businesses survive. It's the village north. This is, yeah, this is the road that we traveled over to the parking lot over there. The Delta, we've stayed here before. can tell we've been here many 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 times in Whistler throughout the years cows ice cream Definitely having an impact on tourism here in their hotels. Fewer staff available or needed. Oh yeah, the tube cell. <laughs> the deer lodge over here in front of us. Snack on. <laughs> Good. Oh yeah, we always have hand sanitizer with us. So in front of us is where a lot of the Olympic events were being held, ceremonies. There's another brew place called the Brew House, High Mountain Brewing Company. Nice little uh, fountain and stream that's normally uh, not frozen in the summertime. Mm -hmm. Little skulls of uh, birds, animals, 
bit frozen. Everything's frozen. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't want to stick your tongue oh, yeah. on the frozen metal. I tried that when I was a little kid. You don't want to do that. Don't ask me why. It's dead out here. Shops are open, but hardly anybody inside. Yeah, they have skating over here. It's one of the several stages that they have in Whistler. Yeah skating rink they made it. The Whistler Sliding Center. Olympic Plaza. It's the home of the 2010 Olympic and Paralympic Winter Games. You see how many people there were during the Olympics? We were downtown on Robson Thurlow during the gold uh, medal play where Canada won against Russia. Russia or United States? America. America. Staying corrected. We have all the different medalists here. Biathlon, alpine skiing. Church Hall. Church Hall, Return to Whistler, stay three nights for 269. These are timeshare packages. They give you a deal and then you get a timeshare. Don't do it. <laughs> for those of you who want to spend money, go for it, but it's a waste of money. Safely viewing bears. We've seen bears from the uh, gondola several times, so never approach a bear never run away from the bear because they can actually climb trees ensure bears never have access to human food or garbage and keep your dogs on a leash so if you want to see bears local bears it can be found at bearsmart.com you see it's a photo of a bear eating the food at a picnic ground.
see. I have the Winter, uh, sorry, the Whistler Olympic Plaza playground here. It's three to 12 years. It's just for small kids. So here in Whistler, they have two mountains. The one in front of us is called Blackcomb. It's on the left. And the one on the right is called Whistler Mountain. And then there's the Sea to Sky Gondola. Or the, what is it called? The Sky to... Sea to Sky. <laughs> yeah, Sea to Sky Gondola. No, that was one. Sea to Sky. I don't know what the name is. Oh, this is called the Peak to Peak yeah, Gondola. Peak to peak gondola. And that takes you from Whistler to Blackcomb Mountains. The Sea to Sky Gondola is actually in, in uh, Squamish. It's a bit expensive though. It's about a, what, $75 per person for one way. And a little bit more if you want to use it for all day pass. It's worth going the all day pass if you get here early. Lots to see, you could ride the gondola all day actually. So we'll finish off this video, where's Gigi, there she is, with the uh, Olympic, <laughs> there we go, the Olympic sign behind us, the mountains behind us, on this end of November day, 2020. Thanks for watching everybody, see you later, bye bye.